From the outside, it's hard to imagine the sheer number of corpses held up inside the Kolebu Teaching Hospital mortuary. But as one draws closer, reality begins to dawn. A pungent and heady smell. Yet, these mortuary attendants are busy at work, having become immune over the years. Their job is a difficult and life-threatening one. Any little mistake here, and one is bound to contract infections from dead bodies. This is how always we go about this has also been worsened by poor working conditions. Due to the lack of space, dead bodies lie on the dirty bare floor with flies hovering around them. This dead baby with flies almost entering his mouth and nose left tears in my eyes. Water droplets from dead bodies are stuck on the floor and cannot flow freely due to the terrible nature of the facility. These channels in the morgue, which are to allow the free flow of dirty water, are heavily choked with filth, which breeds maggots. You are in any medicine, you only spend three, four, five days. Five days, you are in trouble. And it is like this, and they brought you. And we are coming to do autopsy. We have to dissect mm -hmm. before the pathology will come in. Yes. And bring out autopsy yes. before the pathology will come in. After that, yes. we have to stitch and come in and bang. In one of the storage rooms, there is a serious congestion. Initially built to accommodate a few dozens of dead bodies, now loaded with hundreds of dead bodies. This is one of the biggest storage rooms here at the Kolebu Mortuary where a number of bodies are preserved from babies, elderly, middle aged. Everyone is being kept in here for some time before their family members finally come for the bodies. Now, because most of them delay in coming for their bodies, some of the bodies, as you can rightly see here, are deteriorating. They are rotting away. And these mortuary workers will have to face all these challenges as they continue to work here at the Kolebu Mortuary. Director of Metro Public Health at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Florence Kochi, says the situation is extremely disturbing. How they work is dangerous because they are not properly protected. There are a lot of communicable disease that one can transfer from a dead body to another. It will interest you to know that some of them immediately they are done, they don't even use any proper detergent to wash their hands. They just leave like that and when they get anything, they put their hand in and they start eating. And even there are some mortuaries, they don't even treat the wastewater that is produced from the mortuary system. Some just have a connection from the mortuary straight into either a drain or a the lagoon or any nearby water body. But the mortuaries and funeral facilities agency, the body mandated to ensure proper functionings of the mortuary says it is helpless. Emmanuel Autry is the acting director of the agency. The working conditions is not the best, let me put it that way. And but the agency, of course, who is making frantic effort to ensure that the working conditions in which they work improves. The usual challenges of a new facility, we are also bedeviled with it. And principally, we are looking at issues relating to financing. But the challenges faced by these workers don't end inside the mortuary. Meet 36-year-old Mercy Okaile Okaija, who has been a mortuary attendant for nine years. Her life has been characterized by scorn, stigma and abandonment owing to her profession. If maybe a guy approach you and say, oh, lady, you are very nice. I want to stay with you. I want you to be my wife. Sometimes friends will start making fun of the guy. Hey, I won't try dear pa. I won't man. I won't. Oh. All of the sad people who are not be man started say, "Oh yeah, yeah, the whole sad is be people who are not watching them." Some of my friends, when they saw me right now, they some people call me Samali. Some want to make fun of you or 
mm -hmm. and that stuff, but... She recounts how her biological mother disowned her for three years after she took up the job. Every day, trouble, trouble. Even for three years, my mother don't want to even see my face or talk to me. Mercy says friends have distanced themselves from her, but her passion is what encourages her to persevere. She is, however, unhappy about the working conditions at the mortuary where she works. Yeah, Branca, sir. So, be someone will pass away if whether it's HIV, tuberculosis, you don't know what kind of sickness is taking this person to his early or his grave. But that's your work for you to do. So, please, the government to come to our head and listen to us. We have tried to talk to them severally, but no response. 52 year old Richard Tindani hurts to work which is a few kilometers away from his home. He has been a mortuary attendant since 1989. If you are a mortuary man, it doesn't mean you are not part of human beings. But it does not bother me at all. So whatever people say, I don't care. And it's not even true we the mortuary men sleep with the cops. According to a study conducted by the Journal of Healthcare Organization, Provision and Financing, mortuary attendants are poorly paid despite their workload coupled with huge health risks. The study says conditions of service of mortuary attendants should be reviewed to reflect the work they do considering that their job demands do not allow them to engage in other economic activities. It says... This will contribute to attracting even better educated people and improve the services of the mortuary attendants. Richard Tindani agrees. He currently receives less than 1,000 Ghana cities monthly as salary, a pay that is too small to cater for himself and his family. Imagine the work we do as mortuary men. Our salary is not even up to 1,000 Ghana cities. It is not easy for us at all. We are really struggling. Our salary should be somewhere around 2,000 Ghana cities or 3,000 Ghana cities for senior ones like me. Back at the morgue, these mortuary attendants continue to soldier on despite the hurdles, hoping for a better tomorrow. You cannot work like this You cannot. Godwin Asidiba, Jichuan News, Accra.